Hey guys, so today you can see I'm like extra comfortable. <laughs> okay, I just did another video really quickly about the Shea Moisture Foundation and uh, I'll have that linked below. But today I'm coming to talk really quickly about my experience so far with the whole oil pulling thing. Now we know that, well, us on YouTube and people that watch YouTube, we all know and hopefully we do because it's been like crazy, like the craze, uh, not the craze, the rage right now. The whole oil pulling thing, you know, where you take a oil, uh, and it's supposed to be preferably, um, you know, uh, organic oil, or co coconut oil, sesame oil, something like that, and then you swish it around in your mouth for 20 minutes in the morning when you wake up and it's supposed to be like a daily thing okay just like um you know like brushing your teeth it's supposed to do it before you brush your teeth though but hey friend hey made a video about it and i'm gonna link it below because you know to me in my mind even though this thing has been around for like forever when i looked it up and i did the research on it um it really didn't come to my attention until she said it and then that's when um she then went on you know like that's when the whole thing just kind of blew up like tracy ellis ross uh featured that video on her blog and website and kind of gave hey friend hey a shout out and then lately um fran was on channel 11 at least it's channel 11 in new york uh i don't know what it is wpix i don't even know i want to say pix but i don't know who what they're called now but i'm pretty sure it was channel 11 and she has that linked on her blog even though the guy that she was talking to which was a doctor he was kind of a you know not so nice he was kind of a jerk in my opinion okay because you know just the medical community they just are very skeptical when it comes to a lot of holistic things okay but you know Fran has been doing it for years she said like six years or something like that she's um, seen a lot of improvement with her health overall and actually through Instagram I spoke to another person and she knows who she is because she watches and she's really really cool <laughs> she told me that she has been doing oil pulling for a very long time too so I'm kind of glad that I got someone personal opinion on it which she said that she's seen a lot of improvement in her health as well because you know that kind of gives a perspective to everything because you always hear about all these things and then you know you have the medical community putting all the doubts in your head because you know i have my own personal opinion on some of those things not saying that you know actual medicine medicine is bad but you know that's a whole other video <laughs> so today i'm going to talk about my personal experience with it so i started um the oil pulling maybe about three four weeks ago three weeks ago you know the time goes by so quick it's been like i want to say like three weeks to a month or so like that um that i've started it and i started with organic sesame oil let me go get it so this is the oil the bottle that i use the organic uh, sesame oil and it's from spectrum i think this is the same brand that fran talked about in her video i just kind of picked it up because that was in the health food store that i've go to you know like the co-op or whatever it is that's what they had so first thing in the morning what I would do is just um, they say take like a tablespoon or something like that of this or you know a swig or so of it but I'd watch her video for the specifics okay and then I start to swish that in my mouth and I go take a shower I go and um, you know I start to do my hair or whatever it is and then I spit it out and then you know I go and wash, brush my teeth after that so everybody's like oh you have oil <laughs> going around in your mouth you know some people do it with, tried it with the coconut oil I don't like coconut oil when it's in the solid form because it's just disgusting in your mouth okay it's it just it's just horrible literally before I used to take like a teaspoon a tablespoon of um, coconut oil a day is supposed to be help good for you but I can never take it when it was in a solid form I would always have to like warm it up heat it up somehow and then almost like throw it down your throat because I just can't stand the the taste of it like when it's in a solid form so this is not horrible yes you do feel like you have sesame oil in your mouth but you have sesame oil in your mouth in this time now that I've done it, and I'm not gonna say I did it like every single day. I wanna say like every other day, you know, or as often as I can remember, but it's been at least four to five 
t times a week. That's the very minimum that I've done it. Now I am going to say that I, I am, even though I try things, sometimes I am a little bit skeptical, but I don't, uh, well, I don't put like huge expectations on things right off the bat because then you're going to just going to be greatly disappointed. But I must say that, especially now in like the springtime, um, I really deal with a lot of sinus and um, allergy issues. And even if you don't believe me, go back to like last year when I would do videos and it was just horrible during March and April, okay? But this year, I must say that I noticed that my sinus and, and allergy issues are greatly decreased. I can only really think when I thought about what has been different has been doing the oil bowl. And that's the only thing that I could really could think of, about being the big difference in my whole routine. Literally last year, I would have to have all sorts of Sudafed on hand all the time and I literally haven't take taken any Sudafed yet. As opposed to other times during the year and other years I've had to take it daily. But I really haven't been dealing with that many sinus and, and allergy issues. I've been making sure I've been keeping hydrated, making sure that um, you know, I try to keep the dust and pollen and stuff but that's no different than anything I've ever done in any other year so the only thing I can really think about it being different is the oil pulling so hmm, I just wanted to come and share my findings on it so go check out her video it does have like a long long list of um, things that it says it'll cure or aid in the um, healing of or you know just the it, the occurrence of things happening. I think sinus and headaches things was one of those things. And as I said too, you know, I was kind of, oh, we'll see what happens. And, you know, <laughs> I may continue doing it to hopefully uh, avoid more sinus issues that I usually have it in it as it's usually horrible during this time of the year. Horrible. So let me know if you tried the whole oil pulling thing. Um, let me know if you have any you know benefits or things that you've seen have been different or improved or if you haven't at all uh with doing it and yeah leave that stuff down below thanks again for always watching make sure that you like comment subscribe make sure if you're a mommy or not tune in on mondays for mommy mondays uh because i like to um i'm trying to tackle a lot of mommy related issues and then in the week i'm trying to come up with some sort of like schedule but a schedule sometimes like just really freaks me out because then i'm start thinking like oh my god what if i don't think of an idea that is within this little box of <laughs> that i've made for myself because then i'll freak out and you know whatever it is i've been trying to keep consistent with videos so thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye